Congratulations on the purchase of your new Quant laser projector. Before we get started, we highly recommend watching the how to safely set up your laser projector video first to understand the safety concerns with operating a laser projector. Now, in this video, we'll be showing you how to set up and get your laser running from a PC using the included QuickShow laser control software. The first thing you'll need to do is open the case and pull out the laser projector, along with all the cables and accessories. Inside the case, you should find your projector, TrueCon power cable, Ethernet cable, 3-pin XLR cable, e-stop button, keys, and the user interlock. Moving forward, we're going to start by using the 3-pin XLR cable to connect from the e-stop remote to the laser projector, connecting one end to the laser and the other into the remote. Next, grab the user interlock from the plastic bag and plug it into the e-stop remote. Then, grab the keys and plug one set into the e-stop, and the other into the laser projector. We will now take the TrueCon power cable and plug it into the projector and plug the other end into the mains. Lastly, we'll pull up on the e-stop button to reveal the yellow stripe. Then press the start button until both LEDs turn on. This will turn on similar LEDs found on the back side of the projector. To be sure everything is set up correctly, the following LEDs should be illuminated. Power, start, and the FB4 controller on the back of the laser should be a static green. If all these LEDs are shown, the projector is now powered and ready to be controlled. Here's something to remember when working with multiple quant laser projectors. You can daisy chain the e-stop remote and ethernet cable. And as well, on the lower power projectors, you can also daisy chain the power. Now that our laser projector is powered on and ready for control, we can install QuickShow software on our PC, which will allow us to operate the laser in what is known as streaming mode. To download the software, go to pangolin.com downloads and download QuickShow full version. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the install wizard. While that is installing, grab the included ethernet cable and plug one end into your PC's ethernet port or into a switch, and the other end into the ethernet port on the back of your projector. Now, using the FB4 control hardware on the back of the laser projector, press down on the dial to light up the display. We need to ensure the following. First, make sure that under operational mode, the on slash QS is checked. Then, under network setup, make sure auto IP is checked. Lastly, under ScanGuard, make sure ScanGuard is disabled. Now we want to go ahead and run our QuickShow software. Since our hardware is now connected to the PC, QuickShow should open. The first time you open QuickShow, it will prompt you to go through a first-time setup wizard. Feel free to click whichever type of user you are. Beginner is a good place to start if you're new. You can always change it later. Next, select High Performance Scanners. All Quant Laser Systems are high performance in this case. Then, select 3 Laser RGB Projector. And lastly, click Analog Color System. Before your laser can output, click on Enable Laser Output at the top right. Then, you can click on any of the cues in the grid and they'll output to your predefined zones. To change how your output from the projector, go to Settings, Projection Zones. Here, you can change the geometric correction for each laser to position your content where you would like. Once that is all complete, you are free to use content from QuickShow on your new Quant laser system. If you still have questions about setup, feel free to contact our support system by emailing us at support at pangolin.com. 